Hi, Dr. Fallett. I have a few questions that I'd love to get your, your thoughts on. And the first one is um, really as one of the kind of foundational thinkers in terms of trauma-informed work, um, as we kind of move into more gender responsive care, what differences you see that, that might be really evident for counselors to be aware of in working with men and working with women within the, uh, the model that you develop? Okay. I think the five core values are still the same for men and women. And we added two for men, mutual responsibility and compassion. So there are seven for men now. But um, in terms of the safety issues, I think they're very similar. The trouble is that men are socialized not to acknowledge that they feel unsafe. Whereas women are socialized to acknowledge they feel unsafe all the time. So men, women are more comfortable with their vulnerability. Men are less comfortable with their acknowledgement of fear and vulnerability. And it makes it harder for them to, to acknowledge that. So I think one of the things we have to think about as we work with men is, is this behavior we're seeing, is there, is there an announcement of my feeling unsafe? They might be angry, they might be, might be loud, they might be quiet, they might be withdrawn, they might be isolating, but it might be a sense of being unsafe that's, that's fueling these behaviors. Um, trustworthiness, choice, collaboration, and empowerment are all similar, that there are different, different ways in which they show up for men and women. And as a consultant, and you work with agencies from all over the country on this work, are there any kind of consistent patterns that you see that are, are major issues for agencies to kind of overcome in their process of becoming more trauma-informed? The biggest issue is just to acknowledge that they're not trauma-informed. And most places deny that they're not trauma-informed. They say, we've been working with trauma for a long time. And they mean by that they've had a couple of trauma-specific groups, or they've had a couple of trauma-specific individuals focus on trauma and doing therapy, but they haven't really gotten the whole idea of the agency as a whole becoming trauma-informed. They don't get the idea of the culture changes involved. And that's really the, the challenge, I think, is for many agencies, to get the idea that this is a culture change. It involves everything that goes on in the agency from top to bottom, from physical settings to the, to the receptionist to the van driver to the cook, to the CEO, to the, to the COO, to the CFO, to all of them, mm -hmm. as well as the joy service providers. I would assume that has to be a top-down process to some degree, to have buy-in from the agency, from the CEO, that they're going to go to this model. But I, I'm really curious as to what's the best way to teach counselors, to teach an entire organization about these core principles? Like, yeah. how do you do it? We have a a trauma-informed work group we form in every agency we work with, and they uh, get together and decide on the basis of reviewing the protocol we put together, what kind of areas they want to change first, which areas they want to change second and third, etc. They go through their own priority setting. And that's very important that it feels like it's their project. It's their, it is their project. Every agency has their own approach to this issue, and it's important for them to feel the ownership over it. Uh, the CEO and, and uh, has to be on board with it, of course, but the clients need to have their input as well. And we work very hard to get clients to have their input in the process of change. Whether it's uh, because they don't feel safe in the waiting rooms or they don't feel safe about where to go when they first come into the agency, those kinds of things are very much problematic for, for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and the, the last question, um, in the <coughs> In your presentation, you talked, uh, the, the, the panel talked about trauma, uh, kind of infused work as opposed to trauma informed. And I'm really wondering what that looks like when you think about a, an agency that really begins to infuse trauma work as, as opposed to just sort of being informed about it. Yeah. I think infused is a, is a phrase that I would like to see used more because it really refers to the idea that trauma is really part of everything that you do. It's part of everything you think about. It's, it's a trauma lens that we put on. So we think trauma first. I think trauma is the most important thing about in somebody's life, rather than something to be added to the list of things that can be important. And to take that very seriously is to be trauma-infused, I think. Mm -hmm. OK. 
Okay, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome.